it's almost like a guaranteed GG because like it's, it's open fields almost. Hello everybody, my yeah, name is Carmel the video. founder and director over we'll here at Squad Ops, and we're coming back for Squad Ops. Yeah, GG round two of there. Operation I mean, Spartan Trail. This is a one live squad event, which means when you're down, you're yeah, out. I'm joined by Penn, the man behind the scenes. He's going to be working that multi-camera uh, uh, magic for you guys. Vehicle. At the top right of your screen, so. you'll see the name of the camera you're watching. We're going to cycle through it. those once these players get loaded in here. Uh, but yeah, this is Operation worry, Spartan Trail. This is a U.S. Oh, versus insurgent again. operation. The uh, Americans are going to be pushing a squad to the far west of the map, and they must retrieve that squad upon live. They'll have one striker and one lodgy to assist. Have your kits uh, and INS in the meantime, already, of course, right, looking Joker, to destroy uh, and find that initial squad. But yeah, this is going to be a fantastic operation. We had a really, really cool operation one with a, a lot of movement coming out or after, um, or after but yeah we'll see uh we'll see what happens in round two we're gonna be going over the commands again once more we're gonna be swapping the teams so squad one we have satan squad two we have matter squad three we have chappie squad four x-bit squad five the command for us uh for round two is gonna be shadowed ritual on the flip side for ins we have uh Best Pony leading squad one hunter killer leading squad two death for squad three and schmitty for squad four with server error uh what no, for LaRue, I think uh, they're, they're spot holding until LaRue gets in. LaRue will, will be in squad five, uh, commanding the insurgent forces. This is a live operation. You're see seeing this in real time. Players are now loading in. We're going to get ready for the brief. And then they're going to execute that upon a map roll or uh, upon a brief. So we're going to see how U.S. decides to take on the objective this time. Uh, we'll roll the operation briefing for you guys. Uh, this is once again, this is squadops.gg Operation Spartan Trail. You get to see the assets right here for the operation. We're running uh, X amount of weapons, uh, one striker and one lodgy for the US, and INS gets vehicle scrounging. Uh, they also get scouts and uh, RPG gunners to take care of those vehicle threats. So we'll see if US is actually able to move that uh, striker from the east side of the map to the west side of the map successfully without getting cut off. We'll see how that goes. We're on the second page here now, and you can kind of see uh, the operation rules and objective tonight. We got the U.S. squad setting up on the west side. U.S. platoon has to move and secure that area where that squad was. If they can get the striker and the lodgy to that area, they'll be able to reinforce and uh, create uh, defenses upon that location. INS, of course, has a very simple job. Eliminate all U.S. forces. All right, we see the initial U.S. squad now pushing out here. This is going to be led by Squad Two, which is one up. We were, we're squad. super fobbing the shit out of somewhere, we're and like, uh, they're going to be pushing off to that first ammo, location once again. They reach this location before <laughs> the operation begins, and uh, they have to hold that pause for the duration. So uh, we'll see what kind of compound they choose. Uh, last. Round the uh, U.S. chose the compound yeah, over recon, boys. I'm excited. here. This, the, uh, this was the team that I wanted because. Uh, uh, and uh, we'll see uh, how the uh, on here. Oh, there I've it is. The... Now it popped in. This is the last uh, compound that the U.S. chose. We'll see if uh, U.S. decides to take a different compound this time. It does look like they're taking the far west compound. Is that even a compound? Is that a is that a thing? We'll, we'll fly over there and take a look at the uh, defensive specifications of this compound. Let's go fly over here. Looking at the cache locations for the insurgents, there's one it? that's right outside uh, Army Checkpoint on the south, and then one that's um, near the resupply on the west. Uh, the easternmost checkpoint, kind of in a less than ideal location, as you can see here on the far east of the map. And then uh, the far right, west map, however, if they gang saying, up on this one compound, or, excuse me, not that one, this one? This one. This How is the compound they're picking. For, uh, Ooh, I don't know if I like this compound any, for uh, defense. This is a really, really away, small like, compound. There's a lot of alcoves here and overhead cover, but and then from there, on I don't know. It's going to be really rough to hold this uh, compound, I think. There's a lot of open areas. We'll see what happens. But this is going to be the compound that U.S. decides to and take uh, defenses in the beginning of this round. All right. 
So, uh, U.S. still chugging on over there. Oh, those are yeah. spawns. That's yeah. pretty nasty. <laughs> Come on. All right, best dad jokes. Come on. Dad jokes. That's all right, dad all right, jokes. you ready? Did you guys hear about the gun dealer? His name was T-Rex. He deals in small arms. Hey. <laughs> So, from what it sounds like, Shadow's going to attempt to just completely avoid all INS forces until the last break. That is a good plan. That is a good plan. I like that plan. Push hard and fast through contact. Hopefully not hit a mine. And, uh... Meet up with their guys, yeah. and then they're going to maneuver southward, so they're not going to have time to get to them, basically. They'll just come in from the south. <laughs> the shade getting thrown back and forth. Like it. Way to the west. Yeah. Um, one, you're gonna take your, you're gonna get your vehicle. You're gonna head. Uh, okay, you're gonna head direct west ASAP. <laughs> Not even. You're just gonna try and bypass that cash. Um, <clears throat> take the bridge right above uh, Fog yeah. Ross. We're gonna meet up with the infantry, and we're gonna continue south as far, like basically the edge of the map south. We're gonna take like this route. Squad one copies. Terrible. Terrible. Actually, is there a bridge here? Is, is this a bridge right here at C-97? Anybody know? U.S. trying to figure uh, out uh, negative. There is no their bridge route there. for Wait. the vehicle. Yes, there is. There is a bridge there, and then there's yeah. one on the clear west at Bravo 1079. Bravo 1079, what are they talking about? Man, oh, this one right here, let me see. Tell them that the recon's clear, that way they don't think we're from far west. Yeah. All right, looking at the map here, this is the route that the uh, U.S. is going to take. They take the vehicles this way, then south, pick up the infantry, push west, push south again, push west, push south again, and then up and around to the objective. Technically, There's going to be this little compound our, uh, right here in Bravo 821. Oh, so they're fine. So... I'm just thinking of time mostly. Let's see go. what happens. This round, there's an SPG techie there's really close to this uh, checkpoint. South, south can go. U.S. Mo uh, forces spawn. Uh, the infantry right. spawns at Fab Ross. The striker and Lodgy team south spawns at checkpoint. And then south the uh, recon go, squad spawns basically. at B2, gonna, B8, uh, excuse west, me, B824. Uh, the checkpoint, and then just book it to Fab Ross. And then we'll figure out the path from there and just continuing south. Let's get uh, infantry screening your north. Copy. Uh, we're going to go through and show off a couple of the assets bridge. that are going to be and used here tonight. Bridge, uh, this bridge. is the striker. The U.S. gets After one of these. Uh, yeah, they Andrew are Andrew very Andrew. heavily armored. They have a Crow's 50 cal uh, system on the top. For uh, yeah, They, they are magnified. Probably... They do a lot of damage. This thing is quite the beast. Uh, it pretty much is the strongest vehicle in the game right now and can only be destroyed pretty fast by a hat kit or by a uh, 30 millimeter BTR or MTLB. But aside from that, it is pretty much the most well-rounded vehicle here in squad at the moment. So I just both to avoid that armor and defense. All right. U.S. now getting the rest of their platoon in. They're going to do briefings here momentarily. We're going to cycle through these cameras once again. And a uh, big shout out and thank you to these uh, people for providing their perspectives. We're going to roll through this list momentarily. We've got Burns, Matter, Expit, Merrick, My Camera. Silverman, Satan, Crispy, Schmitty, Shadow Ritual, and Remick. All those boys providing their One, this is sort of cams for the multi-cam multi perspective goodness. Anything but the one bridge on the FR West. Copy that. Expit is live now here. You can see he's getting his squad all sorted. Shenanigans going on before. Everybody, all infantry has to spawn in on the rush. Er, yeah. We're paid to kill not to ask these questions.
orders. All right, Ines there. starting to spawn in. We have a couple spawning on the far east side. Pretty surprising, actually, that anyone is going to be taking this spawn. Um, but yeah, we should be ready for life here momentarily. Uh, teams well, so are getting their briefings the ready. Matters now reached his uh, location. They're going to be digging in here momentarily. So that if people look in, they won't see it, but it, it'll give us cover. Yeah. We're here. Um, be advised, command. This compound kind of sucks dick, yeah, but we'll make it work. We'll have to get a ladder on this roof. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait for the ladder. No, we're okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm more, you're more just state than anything. Hopefully, if we can get that striker to you, then the striker. The, 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 this plan hinges on the striker. Yeah, I'm sure. Remember, you got sandbags. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be quite quickly past the first INS resupply to the bridge, and we're just going to try and go as quick as possible. Yeah. Go, re just burn past us. Infantry from starter is going to keep pushing west of the right. To the river. Uh, Come on, you're just going to get past us and just try and get to the the, uh, the place ASAP. Um. I may hop into your uh, leave one at least one spot in the uh, lodging. I'll probably yeah, this place kind of sucks, fast. but we'll make it work. Just so I can get there faster. I'll, I'll the hope a, is that uh, the uh, screening. So basically, like three. the general plan of this place is that yeah, there though there it is not a great compound, the approaches are even worse for them. So that's basically what the the point of this is. It's so good. I'm gonna ride a dock later. Where everyone who's dead is in the Like, scary noises. Like, ooh. And then just run around the map. Like, they can't really be useful. Hey, Chappie, safety machine guns. All the boys getting ready for the op to start. All right, and we're gonna start the platoon brief right here. We had like four teams of sniper teams, and they had to kill it. one person in the middle of the compound, and then the evac as well. Everybody else is defending him. Mm. Next time we'll platoon brief. Or an op. Oh wow, I like that backwards hop up. Such skill. Cool. Uh, everybody, just line up for the uh, half platoon brief. We've John. got a oh, squad to the north. Get the fuck down. Jones. Down. Jones. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Take a knee. Uh, we've we'll got a there. squad up to the north for the uh, vehicle squad, and then we got the recon squad. So it's only going to be a uh, a half platoon brief. We're the infantry part of the uh, platoon. Our plan is going to be simple. We're going to move west out of uh, Fabras, and we're going to screen for the vehicles. That's literally your job, is to get the striker and the Lodgy 2 position. You're not going to let what we did to them happen to us with uh, that vehicle. The vehicle did not get anywhere near the objective. <laughs> um, that was all merit, by the way. Like, literally, he took all four lat shots at it and landed all of them. Um, yeah, any fine detail movements? Yeah, any fine movement is up to the uh, squad lead, but your job is to move west and screen for the vehicles. Um, you've got final p uh, positions set up at the uh, around the objective. The objective or the um, the recon spot is really small, so the plan is to get everybody positioned outside of it and to shoot them in the backs and uh, flank around them. Like this is all about moving and uh, staying and staying behind them more than uh, oversaturating the area. So that's for the, those are your in positions. Um, your squad leads will know which one to go when, whenever we get there. Are there any questions? How are we going to be screening for the vehicles if we're moving west? Aren't the vehicles to our north northeast? The vehicles are to our northeast. They're probably not going to spawn at that east cache, but they're going to move really fast west. They're going to cross. Their their route is marked with fob markers. They're going to go. They're going to cross at that bridge marked with the green fob marker, and they're going to really they're just just going to follow the green. Uh, this route here. Copy. Understood. Yeah. And they're they're really just going to blow past us and try and get south as quick as possible. And uh, we're going to try and screen them, make sure that uh, nobody can even 
get to the roads that they're taking. So we'll probably we be taking like set... these roads. Do we have any set plans if you spawn at the eastern cache hard? Um, outrun them. Copy. We can get we can get out of that main and we can get moving west insanely quickly. I don't so think. E but we're... Go ahead. So, sorry. So E eight is like key key point here, right? That's where they're going to be heading us. Because they'll secure that line, that road, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably going to try and move southeast out of that cache and try and hit us right there at the EA point. That's why we're going to move fast west. And uh, this is yeah, that's probably the most likely point of uh, contact right here, the, the red fob marker. Are, are there caches in the same place as they were previous round? Because it looks like they're in different positions on the map. They are. They're, they're, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're random. Now, yeah, well, squad okay. one is set. Get the vehicle turned around. Uh, get the vehicles turned around moving to the south quick. Go. Cool. If there are no questions, I will call for live. That leads right back final details. Yay. All right. U.S. has their plan. They're going to blow the striker as fast as possible to the western side of the map and then uh, screen with infantry. Kind of a standard plan. Let's see if the striker yeah. team gets held up Shut again. Up. Uh, they, re reminder that they need to push through contact. If they get stuck, Dynas just sets up a harder, uh, a stronger, uh, stronger ambush. No, I mean, once life is called, he wants moving off. Yeah, 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 we're moving off. He's up. Vehicles will catch up. All right, live in 30 seconds here. Should be kind of exciting. We'll see. Uh, who do you want in the lead, three or four? Uh, three takes point. Three will take point four. We'll come behind. We'll fall behind. But really, we're just the best speed. Yeah, Rex, would you be first uh, session or not? 10. Weapons outside. And we are live. Here we go. We're live. You guys pushing off? And uh, that striker team's going to be pushing out real fast. Curious as to where that INS team is going on the far east. Oh, he's swinging. Oh my god, we might have a hunt. Go down. Four, three, two, one. We might have a hunt on our hands here. Coffee. We have the striker on the left and the SPG truck on the right. We've got we've got oh no, he's gonna break. Oh no, they're they're gunning it. They're gunning it. Can't crash. Three, you can't crash. Oh no, they're gonna get outpaced. Because the striker team's gonna be pushing real fast. This infantry screen is not going to get here in time, though. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, shame, ah, shame, 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 shame. shame. <laughs> what the heck happened there, Mr. Mulder? And he gets left. What happened to No Man Left Behind, dude? They're completely just, they're like, fuck it, no, we're, we're getting out of here. No man left behind has, has no bearing here. Fuck that guy. We're moving. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, hold comms. They, they could be getting close, so just hold comms. Yeah, someone there. fat fingered the keyboard. And exited the vehicle. <laughs> Alright, um. They're, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna hit the striker. They're gonna hit the striker. They're set. They're ready. They're ready for it. Command, we They're gonna hit it. To They're gonna hit it. Yep. yep. I'm and there's a second the squad body. back there as well. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh no, no, no. The timings were wrong. Two, or one, one. Go for one. I, I'm getting in the lodge. He's not lodging. Oh no. Oh no. This is no bueno. Oh my god. This is gonna be a huge fucking ambush. Oh, they stopped the combo right going. fucking here. Oh my god. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't, around, around, right I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh god. Where's the lats? Where are the lats? Where are the lats? What? Where are the lats? Uh. Uh. Lodgy is now passing through two What? What? We're calling it in. Roger. What the f you want to just go along the road? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, just moving west as best you can. However you get there. Oh, what the f- Roger. <laughs> Two is getting yeah, in contact. We got enemy squad on our position. They're re- 
and a huge ambush coming out here. U.S. infantry getting stuck in the open. Call your contacts, guys. Call your contacts. I'm so that I don't even how they what three, three, uh contact. what happened to all the lats? Midi, hook them. Copy that. Two. Uh, two I'm four, very and confused at how. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't watch. <laughs> <laughs> Whose squad is that? Oh lord, how? How did that happen? That should not have happened. That 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 striker should have been dead to rights. Oh, someone made a boo boo. Wait, how did Satan die? Try and get to two. One. Oh? Oh, okay. One, you're gonna All right, somehow guy, squad one lead one. and the striker goes down. Your, um... I can't. This is uh, this is just chaos at this point. I don't even fucking. We get across. This is, this is a tricky part. Don't worry, I yelled that. All right. Um, Copy uh, that for. Yeah, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, Exciting things. Push south and then Exciting west. things. I don't get even know how to commentate this match anymore, so we're just going to we're just going to we're just going to watch here. There's a some firefights and engagements going on here right at the road. Uh we do have like a good amount of US and insurgents here down from the initial contact. INS now chasing US back. US is going to break contact to the south. Uh they're not going to fight this. INS has too much cover here and can see as you can see to clear all these wood lines would be pretty treacherous. Uh, however, right, they are going to be one. walking into another insurgent squad here, but they're going to be breaking off to the further west as well. They're going to be chasing the striker, looking for the uh, uh, U.S. The, uh, scout team on the far eight, west here. Eight. We can see the vehicle plus infantry plus Lodgy right. truck now we reaching that location. Here. They're going to drop supplies. Um, and then I think that's where the majority of the team is. We have squad one from the insurgents over here pushing to the uh, compound on the north here. They're going to be scouting out this compound and checking to see if the insurgent squads, uh, excuse me, the U.S. squad is there. Uh, once they get there, they should be able to deduce that the U.S. platoon has chosen this far location. Um, we talked about this before. This location on the west here, very, very hard to defend, uh, hey, but they did from... manage to get the right, Logi Plus Striker We're over here, be, and that's uh, going to help them really immensely. Up. With this compound being in the far western side of the wall against the extent of the map, it's going to be very hard for INS to approach these uh, lines from the east, simply because they have the entire west. It's a no-go zone for insurgents. It's an entire no-go zone. There's no, there's literally zero chance insurgents are going to come from the west because it's on the out, outside extent of the map. Uh, with the striker here, they're going to be able to lock down either the north or south, respectively, with the striker locking down the complete, complete assault from those sides. We're looking at the northeast right here, and this is just nothing but an open field and a uh, river. And this striker is going to have full, uncontested rain over this area. So good on Shadow for making that call, pushing the striker through. I'm not sure how. I have no idea how that striker got through the lines. Um, that never should have happened. Even the Lodgy. The Lodgy should have been taken out at the very least. But INS kind of choking there, dropping the ball. And uh, US is able to resupply these groups out of sheer luck. Out of sheer luck. Uh, now they're going to re be reinforcing the spot striker in a position name? off to the far west. Name? They're setting up on the north here as well. And uh, INS is going to have a rough go of it as they try to get closer. Uh, we have the U.S. squad all the way on the south trying to get around. But uh, they're getting cut off and screened by this uh, squad three over here. And uh, U.S. in a good and bad position all at the same time. Um, they reach the position, but a lot of their infantry is getting mopped up by squad two and squad three of the insurgents. We can see right over here. Uh, they're kind of mixed in these fields. Burns is is clearing out these fields. They will end up finding all these Americans. Uh, this INS squad is hunting them in the fields here, but they will go down. They will cause some casualties, but this entire U.S. squad will go down here in a moment. Uh, we have people combing the uh, combing the uh, tree tree line here. You can see a nice wide bird-eyed angle here. One lone U.S. soldier crawling. He's going to actually get both these guys. This saw, bird person, is going, just lighting everything up. That's not saw. Oh, there goes a grenade. Bird person down. Uh, oh. 
Merrick, Merrick gets executed by Fmitty. And that's Where that squad. This uh, this U.S. squad on the uh, south now getting screened west. as well. INS really playing to their advantage. So long as they play in medium to close range engagements, it does work in their advantage. Three U.S. soldiers pushing to the tree line here. If they hug this wall close enough, they might get hit by an RPG shot. I don't think we have an RPG gunner down here, though. And INS doing a great job of mopping up the uh, U.S. forces that, like I left a hand behind. Regardless, though, even if U.S. comes out of this with a uh, number uh, advantage, or uh, even if INS comes out of this with a number advantage, um, I don't think Shit. Are you good? that they're going to be able to uh, take that compound simply because it is against the extent of the wall, like I said before. And, um, wow, grenades just demolishing the squad. U.S. getting really caught off guard here. His entire U.S. squad not able to sneak around that south. Uh, insurgents cut off that approach. Yeah, heavy casualties down here. So heavy casualties. Let's take a look at the kills real fast. INS has 14 to 6. Huge, huge swing towards uh, INS's favor. However, we talked about this before. It's Some not going to matter be because I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident in my call out right here that the U.S. To, is going to be uh, in a pretty solid spot simply because the location that they chose has uh, the extent of the map protecting their flank and they got the striker across and they got the logi across so, so casualties uh on this objective are going to be extremely high this ins squad double checking that field it's not rendering for us because we're kind of far out but they did actually manage to wipe up that squad uh we i hear Artie. i hear Artie coming in yeah we do have the Artie truck starting to nail uh targets over here on the far west they're just now ranging their shots let me see if i can get a shot of that already truck where is it Right there. There's the already truck. And they're going to start getting uh, ranged in here. Good use on the already truck. The already truck might be the one saving grace that the insurgents have. Oh, good rounds. The uh, already truck is zeroed. The deviation will take care of the rest. Oh, here we go. No, no. Now he's, now he's on the dot. See that round coming in. Little short, little short, but deviation should take care of the rest. Uh, if he adjusts just a little bit more and uh, empties a tube. We have a rocket techie firing from Delta 7 keypad. These uh, uh, rounds coming in pretty high. Go find that rocket techie. Don't even try and make it. If you're too small to, to get into any good position, go try and find that rocket techie. Take that fire team. You got uh, and squad four reduced. Confirm. Where was that? Call out. To five uh, men. Delta 7. Guys, we're gonna stay back here for and, a little while. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens here. Whew. It's north of you, four. Ooh, they actually have a guy, a couple guys here now to uh, help. Oh. SVG techie getting a little too close for comfort here. And, uh, but he is in a position to help guy. Oh, no. And the techie gets spotted. He's going to go down to the 50. There goes Turtle Mac. And this dish, this, uh, this striker is going to be, this striker is going to be disgusting. Unless they can nail it with the blind luck of the RD truck. Uh, SVG is down. Oh, they're going to fire for effect. It's a little off to the left, but Deviation might be able to get a couple rounds on target. Let's see here. Close, close, close. They just add one left five degrees, and they're going to be on target here. They need to adjust. They need to adjust. And this compound, like I said before, this is a very good compound to Artie because there's very few There's very few uh, areas that, that completely block. The uh, rocket damage. The They're constructing sandbags to do that now, but yeah, this already's coming in. If they they need to adjust, oh god, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating watching this. He needs to adjust. Oh my god, he's so close to on target. Oh, it could be so glorious. Oh, I think he he's adjusted. Oh, this might be this might be on it. This might be on it. This might be on the money. Oh, still so close. He's so close. He's so, so close. Come on, I believe it. There we go. I think he adjusted again. It sounds like Nicky is south of us as well. I wonder if he's in range to resupply. If he is, this thing can be dumping rounds unlimited. He's so close to being.
They need someone up here forward observing. Do they have anyone up here? Oh, yeah, they do. Look at this. Small insurgent scout team. Oh, oh, more rounds in inbound. These look like these good. These look good. These look good. Yep, yep, yep. Couple landing on target. Just one more tick to the left. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're dialed in. Good rounds, good rounds, good rounds. All right, they're just, just, just a little too much. Hey there, Joker. Oh, they're so close. Oh, just so many rockets. They're, they're getting closer and closer. What is this madman doing on the roof, Remick? Remick gets hit. Remick gets hit by a, a rocket. Oh, they're so close. Now they're got they got the range down. Now he just needs to go left a, a little bit. He's got the range. Oh god. Oh, it's so glorious. Oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Come on, just one more tick to the left. You got this. I believe in you. Oh my god. Deviation will get rounds on target. But it's still a, a little ineffective. They need to go left a little bit. Uh, this scout team gets spotted. Actually, yeah, takes out one of the one of the players, and they're gonna soften them up with the arty, which is perfect. Uh, we see that rest of the insurgent line now pushing up as well. Oh, I think he adjusted. Did he adjust? No, he did not. The, wow, this 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 compound is getting so lucky right now. Getting so lucky. But like I said before, they have pretty much unlimited rounds here. So eventually, these rockets are going to hit something. They need a save for bigger salvos. I think that would be uh, that'd be a little helpful. But uh, yeah. The entirety of the uh, insurgent force now pushing up. I don't know where that U.S. squad went. I know. Oh, well, that U.S. squad is actually moving to take out that rocket techie. There's a team here pulling security, but that infantry squad is actually getting real close. And they're just uh, dumping round on round on round. They need to get these a little bit zeroed a little bit more. One more tick to the right. Uh, all right, lat, lats out. He's got to take a shot. Rocket Techie takes a hit. And they're going to disable this Rocket Techie. Rocket Techie goes down. <clears throat> Good job by that strike team. Very fantastic job. Um, so this squad is probably going to get wiped here, but they did manage to take out the... Uh, the rocket techie. Yeah, so copy. gun silenced, um, but at the cost of this entire squad here. But they did complete their mission, so I salute you, whoever that is in the distance. Well done, well done. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the better call with the Arty Techie, although I loved seeing it being uh, being used, would have been to wait until uh, the infantry squads were in position. We talk about this a lot, which is infantry plus other assets. Everything is used to support the infantry, right? Um, everything is supposed to be used cohesively. Like every asset ever made was made to support the infantry. Because if, if you don't have boots to take the ground, you're not doing anything. Uh, and so right here, what we saw was good use of the Arty truck. To kind of deal some initial damage, but they exposed their location early, which then led to a counterattack. And now, with this disconnect happening, when the INS decides to assault this compound, they will not have RD truck support because they fired early. We saw Best Pony do this a couple uh, a couple weeks back with Operation Rook, where he fired his mortars a little early, and we saw how ineffective that was compared to how the mortars were uh, when they were fired. In cohesion with the infantry push and you're kind of seeing that come out from larue uh he kind of used good it was good to see him grab the indirect fire 
But now that it's disabled, i.e. either out of rounds or eliminated, it's going to be rough, especially with this striker still out and about. It's going to be real rough. So uh, we'll see. Still some contact engagements going on there on the Far East. INS is still trying to push up. They have a good surround now. I think they're pretty substantially winning the numbers, 8 to 9. But like I said, if this striker does its job, Miyamoto and Revy, they do their job. Yup. Like, they're going to be able to do some work with this striker. Copy that. INS needs some kind of edge sure to assault this sure compound. LaRue needs to go for... Uh... Uh... Oh, did he die? Copy. That guy bled out or something. Uh, LaRue okay. needs to yeah, go for sure some form of support, of whether it be technical, SPG, Copy or whatever that. it is. He's going to need some kind of asset to help push um, this compound. Because if they go head-to-head -head with the infantry here and the striker, they're not going to win that with just infantry. We can see these U.S. infantrymen getting a little uh, aggressive here, trying to push up on this one lone scout. I like the aggression. I like the aggression. I do. See that suppression coming out from the saw? He's checking the wall. He's right next to you, bro. No, no, no. Other way. Other way. Yes. One, yes. You oh, you got him. Infantry? Executed. You're on the, in that building? Good, good aggression. Okay. That saw needs to check fire, though, because it's getting pretty close. And this striker, like I said before... Uh -huh. Like, look at this. The assault on the north by the insurgents literally coming to a crawl. <laughs> they are literally crawling now <laughs> because the striker has them suppressed. Um, the striker needs to check ammo. That's one of the other things that they need to do. Make sure they're, they're hitting targets they can hit or suppressing areas that can be or are necessarily uh, or are necessary to being suppressed. We see an RPG going to come up on the uh, south here. I don't think he has a shot. If he lands his RPG, I'll be I'll be really really impressed. Who is that? Migrim in Larue's squad. If he's able to hit this RPG shot, drinks are on me. But uh, that's like 500 meters. No, that's like 400 400 meters. So we'll see. U.S. getting a couple guys here to the north compound, ensuring that they can uh. Oh, he fires a rocket. I don't know where that landed. Oh, he he fragged this guy. He frag grenaded that guy. And they're going to be pushing in on the south. Pushing in. Uh, INS commencing their assault now. However, let's see if this comes into play. We talked about infantry not having the support that they need to push into the compound. We'll see if that actually comes into uh, effect here. Shadow Ritual Command for uh, US goes down here. Is that Shadow's body? Oh my god, yeah. Shadow on the south. Striker. I need you to reorient All right. south. Striker's getting reoriented to the south. And uh, these uh, insurgents right here are going to be pretty... Uh, there's two rocket gunners here, so these guys can't actually hit this thing. Some of them moving back north as well. Uh, so keep... Okay, techie. Striker's Striker's direct oh, we got techie coming up the south here. Oh, SVG. A lot of anti-tank assets here on the south. There it is. Oh, he's not looking the right way! Oh, what is he shooting at? Do you see that red smoke to your east one? What what was that? What was that? Oh crispy. What were you shooting at, bro? Oh, you're dead now. Oh. There's no way. There's no way, right? He's looking at you. He's ready. Look at that thing. That thing is ready. Oh, SPG misses. On the striker's position. That's unfortunate. We see this this lone dermoplast trying to get in a good position. Oh no, rocket goes short. Yeah, this striker's gonna be a problem. <laughs> uh, this striker's gonna be a big, big problem. Position. Oh, he's actually going to roll into one RPG gunner right here. And he's going to get tagged. Okay. Uh, that was a point blank shot. And a miss. Striker, pull out of there if you're getting hit. Oh, boy. What a rough night for some of these guys, eh? What a rough night. 
Oh, oh, I can't watch. All right, we're gonna move on here. Um, I can't watch. I'm gonna push a little more here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll meet up with you. Should be to three. Move this way a little bit. A uh, couple these uh, pair of U.S. soldiers in the in the in the front up here. Getting spotted. This guy actually looks like he lost his helmet. You see that? Yeah. They can fire northeast striker if you can get eyes. So long as his striker keeps scanning, Sorry, he needs to be more aware of that group on his south. I don't know if he can see him. Oh no, he sees him. He sees him. Oh no, he does not see him. He's wasting ammunition on this guy. He needs to choose his targets uh, wisely because this uh, is going to be the game-winning asset right there's... here. All right. They don't have any more frag rounds. I think he's low. Uh, heat rounds. I think he's loaded frag. No, that's a heat round. Interesting. Yeah, that was a heat round. All right, you can't panic as a driver and gunner now. I don't think it was southwest. You got to count the shots because if you're counting those RPG shots, you know that he's probably out of heat at this point. And so, if you run into a fully, uh, fully uh, equipped RPG team. It's gonna be an issue but if you uh stand and fight against rpg gunners that have already gone black on their rounds they can't do anything to you so uh ins now moving up here on the north uh we got foxy holding this flank uh yeah if you could please bring him in from the north start him sweeping north to south on the west side ins doing their the best they can to bound up Ooh, good gl round i don't know if that got him oh it did he's bleeding they're both bleeding they're hurt. Reloading. On the west side of the map. This is lone U.S. soldier really delaying. This striker taking one RPG shot. He's right next to this uh, RPG team. They're, they are a uh, compound now. Yep. Like I said, you need to be careful where you are. Because if you walk into a full... Uh, Striker, uh, RPG team. It's gonna have a bad time. Striker needs to start pulling its weight. Oh! Oh, what is this? Oh, what? What is going on here? <laughs> I can't. What is happening? What is happening tonight? What is happening tonight? I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. What is going on? Try to get back in the gun and light it up. Oh, there goes LaRue to the uh, striker. But yeah, what is some some really weird stuff going on tonight? INS now stacked up on the wall. They're going to try to breach. Get your, uh, get your infantry teams pulling back now. They're going to take some casualties. This is pretty well defended right here. But that, like I said, that striker needs to start uh, start pulling its weight. Ooh, double lat shots on the striker. He's gonna dismount. No, Miyamoto, no! All right, striker goes down. It's pretty grim now for the US. Uh, with that striker gone, that was the main power swing that they had. And now it's it's gonna be pretty One, systematic destruction here. of the uh, FOB here. Southwest, if Southwest is compromised. Hey, One is Southwest. cut off. One is dead and cut off. This is all you got, Matter. This is all you got. I got one outside your wall, Joker. Yep, we got multiple. I got Oh, damn, that RPG. That was a good RPG. Our Matter kept catching an RPG to the face. And I think this is this is all she wrote. We're down to five U.S. soldiers. Two of them not even in the compound. Uh, they're gonna try to start bounding back, but they are they are way outpaced at this point. There's a couple of U.S. soldiers that are stacked inside. 
Oh my god, that guy loses a fight to Bam Bam. Bam Bam peeks that corner and takes him out. Now two U.S. soldiers remaining in the compound. Two outside. It's down to five versus like 15. Uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. This is looking pretty, pretty dire. Oh, wow. Guerrera. Or Gorilla, I'm sorry. Gorilla actually taking out John Hancock right there. He's going to be pushing up. If he gets behind this wall, he can do some damage. If he gets on this side of the wall and gets these two guys that are stacked up, but he's got to beat this guy on the corner. Oh, no, he gets flanked. Oh, good. Finny, Finny coming out on the other side. Gets aggressive and smacks him on the wall. We got a... Uh, oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, it's just two U.S. soldiers now. We got Miyamoto, or three, excuse me. Miyamoto, Londarts, and Chrono. And they do have defender's advantage, but if uh, INS uses those frag rounds that they have remaining or the IEDs that they have remaining to clear this compound, I mean, that's going to be that's gonna be night. That's going to be lights out for uh, both teams. And INS will take the, uh, take the win. But they are stacked. We'll see if... Uh, I'd like to see... What I would like to see at the end of this round is INS get creative and use the IEDs to breach the walls. I mean, we talk about all the time. That, we talk about that all the time. We got like what here? We got Fulcrum. He. We got Fulcrum. A lot of RPG rounds, and then a couple of people inside. So Fulcrum, we got one ID at least here. We got insurgents now in the weed, clearing the compound slowly. This who whoever that is is really exposed. Krona. Krona's really exposed. INS is in the compound. This should be the call for the rest of the teams to get aggressive. You can see them starting to throw uh, smokes up to advance now that they see friendly units in the compound. It's a good sign of, hey, you know what? We got to press the advantage right now. That's exactly what we're seeing. They're just clearing corners. Someone's going to get snapped. Just waiting for it at this point. Who the next person is? Ooh. Tasty. Is he outside? Miyamoto's actually outside the compound. Don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's snapping Fulcrum. Excuse me, that's what he's doing. There goes the scout. No more IDs in this operation. Oh god, and they're rushing it. Alright, it's just up to Lawn Darts, and he goes down. That's a GG clean sweep by INS. Good play, good play. And yeah, we're gonna try to get a couple interviews here with the uh, a couple of the um, num, 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 commanders. So we're gonna try to grab a let's try to grab Shadow and Larue here for some post op goody goody goodness. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. We're gonna grab a couple a uh, couple of the the boys that we were watching. And uh, yeah. All right, we got them in. All right, so interesting rounds tonight, boys. We got Best Pony, LaRue, and Shadowed Ritual. Two commands and one squad leader from the uh, previous matches. And we we're asking them a couple questions, pick their brains, see what happened, see what they liked, uh, and uh, see, what, see what happened. Um, so round one, uh, Shadow, I saw you went for a really aggressive convoy denial strategy what was your uh, what was your goals with that uh with that and what how did you see that playing into the late game um the idea was to prevent them from getting the logi set up and just denying them access to the, to the striker 
because uh, I've seen how how amazing the crow system is in, in ops, and I really just didn't want to let them let them use that. And I we didn't even see the logi, so like. We, we were like, all right, well, then let's just keep denying this striker that's it's on the east side of the map. And then I started pushing guys, the rest of my squads west. And yeah, I just, we just really wanted to not allow them to build anything or use their striker. Awesome. Cool. And then I saw round one, you also went for a, te I'm, I really want to ask you this. What happened with that technical push? Um, so, <laughs> Xfit apologized for that right at the start of the next round. <laughs> So the entire time we're talking about the, the, the mosque tower and, you know, this blue tower and everything, like, we see them, that's where it's at. And in, in Xfit's mind, the way he, he described it is, he said, I knew you were talking about the mosque tower, but as we started going, I thought the monolith, that, that big area south of it across the river. The palace. The palace area, yeah. That's yeah, what, I like, see. as he started going, he, that's what he thought the mosque was. Oh, boy. So, yeah, he apologized Ooh, for that at the start of the next round. He's like, yep, that that was all me, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was definitely, that was an oof moment. That was an oof yep. moment right there. In an instant, we lost a whole squad. Pony, as a squad leader, where did you feel the power swing was in round one? Um, well, let's see. The power swing was probably right about the time we spotted their entire platoon coming south. So we knew they were going to come at us from that direction. And also the, the three technicals, technicals just walked right into a huge ambush we figured it was actually a distraction they were gonna like then hit us with the whole platoon from the south we were watching like the technicals come in and make bangy bang noises and you know catch us off guard and shift our, our eyes away from the other avenues of approach but uh that did not occur so we were we were then <laughs> able occur, to no, dig in and be prepared for when they actually pushed us uh and mm -hmm. then around um shadow i also want to ask you about round one why uh, why, why didn't you opt for the uh, arty truck I was very disappointed. I was very upset. I was very sad. Um, the arty truck is, is is hit or miss, and you sort of just have to. It's very at much your, so hit or miss. You gotta, yeah, you gotta you gotta look at your your squads, and you gotta think like, who here knows how to use the arty truck? And I, I I really I just wasn't seeing it, so I I just opted gotcha. for, for infantry. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that was awesome, Larue. Round two. You snuck those vehicles by. Or no, you didn't. That's me. What happened with that ambush, Larue? Did you ask? Did you tell them to hold fire? Um, there was nothing being relayed at that point, so I only found out after I had died what happened back there. But I told them, I told them to be weapons tight and try and get the logi instead of the striker because I didn't want them to get supplies up and running. But right. um, no, it was down to the squad lead for opening fire on that. So. Uh, I see. That was that was another oof moment where I saw both vehicles just kind of slip on by. <laughs> oh, that was that was definitely great. I liked the arty truck use. I liked the arty truck use. What what made you pick the arty truck? Got to ask that one to Best Pony. He was uh, basically in command the whole second round. <laughs> The answer is arty trucks are great. I'm I I shouldn't have been able to get the arty truck, but the striker elected not to kill me. Um, it, it literally had a shot right on me. Uh, I was I went to go get the arty truck right away, and I drove back up the road just as Burns was calling out all the vehicles right here, and then I round the corner and see ah this was perhaps the wrong bridge to go to, but I, I hopped out of it and the striker didn't take a shot on it. So then I just took it up to the uh, the place where I'd been set up last round and started blasting away because you know at that distance you're not gonna miss. Uh, right, right. Uh, we talked about this before, especially with you on mortars, about the uh, combination of infantry and uh, arty. Uh, I'm curious why you decided to, to not to wait until your infantry was in position uh, to because push as well. there are infinite rockets. But there so, aren't. But there are. Unless you get counterattacked. Yeah, unless you get counterattacked. But to do that, they, they had to waste a bunch of people that they couldn't then have on their fob for late game. And... Ultimately, it didn't really seem to matter because that that particular position. Uh, I, I'm not sure what happened actually because I wasn't. In, I was very surprised to find out that we were winning after I died. I had assumed that it was even or that we were losing. Um, I think. I don't really um, know, when did the there the was a lot there? of there was a lot of faith um, on that round two in the striker, and for the striker to pull its weight, and unfortunately, it was just not in a position where it could carry the game as hard as it needed to um 
I think that there's a lot of right. Uh, uh, it, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, Shadow, but there's a lot of faith put into the striker round too. It, it's a lot of faith put into the striker, and and then the thing was we lost a lot of our our squad leads early on, and a lot of weight was put on to FTLs. These, these FTLs that like I'm the kind of person who I leave a lot of decision making up to the squad leads. Like I tell you what needs to get done, and then I let you get it done. And mm -hmm. like these these squad these fire team leads are just I, I felt like there's a lot of new faces that I haven't seen before who, who may, like this may have been the first time FTLing, and I was just I was asking a lot from them, and like one of the FTLs was driving the striker, he couldn't hear anything, you know, he was, we were having to repeat things over and over to him, and yeah, so as soon as our command structure went down, oh, like a lot of things sort of just crumbled. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it was a very surprising, to say the least, rounds. Um, I was very enjoyable rounds to watch. Does anyone have anything they want to bring up or discuss? No? Nothing at all? I, I all laughed right. my ass off in that tower first round, watching people try to crawl behind a wall 800 meters away to avoid being seen while I just stared at them through binoculars. It was funny. Yeah, I think that was a, a big key to round one was us seeing their whole movement basically out of Fob Ross. Right, right, right. Yeah, that was uh, that was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming by once again. This is Best Pony Sh uh, Larue and Shadowed Ritual. Uh, my name is Karma Cut. I'm the founder and director here at Squad Ops. We're joined by Penn behind the scenes, the Silent Man who is working all the magic behind the cameras. Um, so big thank out, thank you to him. Big thank you to all the camps provided for this operation and all the staff. Fantastic work. It was a great op. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more about Squad Ops, check out squadops.gg. Check us out on youtube.com slash squad ops or twitch.tv slash squad ops. And we'll be, ba we, little, little, we'll be back Saturday with uh, two more ops. So tune in then. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Pen, are we uh, ready to rock and roll on out of here? Awesome. All right. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Once again, if you have more questions, check out uh, squadops.gg. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Karma Cut with Squad Ops signing off.